A test statistic is a random that is calculated from sample data and used in a hypothesis test. We'll use Z-test if the sample size is greater than or equal to 30. And then the population standard deviation is known. Also, if your sample size is less than 30 and the population standard deviation is known. On the other hand, T-test is used when the population variance or standard deviation is not known and the sample size is less than 30. Also, if the sample size is less than 30 and the sample standard deviation is known. We also have central limit theorem. Based on the central limit theorem, when the sample size is extremely large and the variance is unknown, we'll be using Z-test. In central limit theorem, the sample standard deviation may be used as an estimate of the population standard deviation when the value of population standard deviation is unknown. Here are the problems that we are going to read and analyze. Number 1. It is claimed that the average age of working students in a certain university is 35. A researcher selected a random sample of 25 working students. The computation of their ages resulted to an average of 32 years with a standard deviation of 10 years. Answer. Our n is less than 30. The population standard deviation is unknown based on the given. The n is 25 which is less than 30. So the test statistic that we're going to apply is t-test. Number 2. A manufacturer of tires claimed that their tire has a mean life of at least 50,000 kilometers. A random sample of 28 of these tires is tested and the sample mean is 33,000 kilometers. Assume that the population standard deviation is 3,000 kilometers and the leaves of the tires are approximately normally distributed. Answer. Our n is less than 30. Population standard deviation is known. Based on the given, the n is 28 which is less than 30. Based on the key situation, the test statistic that we're going to apply is t-test. Number 3. On average, a drinking vending machine is adjusted so it dispenses 240 ml of fruit juice. However, the machine tends to go out of adjustment and periodic checks are made to determine the average amount of fruit juice being dispensed. A sample of 28 with a standard deviation of 15 ml and plastic cup drinks is taken to test the adjustment of the machine. Answer. Our n is less than 30. The population standard deviation is unknown based on the given. The n is 28 which is less than 30. Based on the key situation, the test statistic that we're going to apply is t-test. Number 4. Uber company claims that the mean time to rent a car on their app is 60 seconds with a standard deviation of 30 seconds. A random sample of 36 customers attempted to rent a car on the app. The mean time of renting was 75 seconds. Is this enough evidence to contradict the company's claim? Answer. Our n is greater than 30. The sample standard deviation is known based on the given. The n is 36 which is greater than 30. Based on the key situation, the test statistic that we're going to apply is the z-test. Number 5. The waiting time to be seated at the restaurant has a population standard deviation of 10 minutes. An expensive restaurant claims that the average waiting time for dinner is approximately 1 hour. But we suspect that this claim is inflated to make the restaurant appear more exclusive and successful. A random sample of 30 customers yielded a sample average waiting time of 50 minutes. Answer. Our n is equal to 30. The sample standard deviation is known based on the given. The n is 30 which is equal to 30. Based on the key situation, the test statistic that we're going to apply is t-test.